It can be a puzzle sometimes to figure out what kind of dessert to make when you're bringing it to friends or family and it's a medium-sized group. You don't want something so big, but it has to feed everybody. Well, I have the dessert for you. You need to make this Tres Leches cake recipe. Oh, it's a sponge cake with a syrup and whipped cream on top, and it's so delicious. And let's get right into making the sponge with milk number one, because Tres Leches means three milks. So this is the first milk, one cup that I'm going to pour into my pot that already has half a cup of butter. And while that starts melting, I might as well get into whipping the sponge. I have four whole eggs, and they're at room temperature. Whoa. And two cups of sugar. Now I'll whip up the eggs and sugar until they more than double in volume. You wanna give it about three to four minutes. When you're making a sponge cake with this much sugar, it's really easy to build in that structure and volume. Now I'll add two teaspoons of vanilla. Just put that in. All right, now I can sift the dry ingredients, starting with two cups of all-purpose flour. Two teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of salt go in. And I've seen a lot of recipes call for nutmeg, and I love that addition of nutmeg, quarter teaspoon. There are a lot of different recipes for tres leches cake. It is such a popular dessert across all of Latin America. The first time I enjoyed it was on my first visit to Guatemala, and there was such a sense of pride in sharing that dessert. And to me, this is why tres leches cake is an ideal dessert to serve for family and friends. It's about that coming together and sharing. And the first thing I'll do is add just half of the flour. And I'll use the whisk to fold it in. And I like to do this because it won't break down the air bubbles that I whipped into the eggs and sugar. All right, so it's quite thick right now. And this is the point that you add your warm milk and melted butter and you add it all at once. And give it a good stir, make sure you pull from the bottom. And you will see it thins out a little bit, but it doesn't deflate, it's absolutely amazing. It really does still hold its volume. Now for the remaining flour. But I do pull from the bottom to make sure it's blended. And that's it. That's the sponge cake. I've already got my pan ready. So a nine by 13, and I've greased and floured it. Normally I put parchment paper in my baking pans, but because this is served in it, obviously I won't. I've preheated my oven to 325, and in a metal baking dish, the cake takes 40 minutes. Metal conducts heat quickly, heats up quickly, cools down quickly. Porcelain or ceramic takes longer. So in this pan, it will take 50 to 55 minutes to bake. Let's check on that cake. Ooh, beautiful. I mean, really, this is just a simple but elegant sponge. And to check the doneness, I press my finger and when I see it springs back, then I know I'm good. Now the syrup is where the other two milks come in. First evaporated milk, which has the richness of cream. This is a full tin, one and a half cups. The third milk is sweetened condensed milk, a full 300 milliliter tin. Oh, and that's where the sweetness comes in. So we're layering the sweetness between the sugar and the sponge and this sweet condensed milk. And lastly, three quarters of a cup of whipping cream. <laughs> just a little rich. That's why a small piece goes a long way and you can feed a crowd with this cake. And just to heighten the vanilla flavor that's in the cake, a teaspoon right here. Before you pour all of this syrup on, you do wanna take a bamboo skewer and poke some holes. That way you know the syrup can soak right through to the bottom of the cake. And then let's just pour this right in. If you actually have the patience to sit and watch as the cake is absorbing the syrup, 
it's actually expanding. It's amazing to see. You can see it sinking into the holes. I'll give it another little swirl around. I'll let it cool completely. Then I want to chill it. I really want to chill that syrup before I finish it with a nice, simple topping. Now, the topping for a tres leches cake, it's a simple whipped cream topping. So I've got two cups of whipping cream. I'm going to whip up. I'll add my icing sugar, my quarter cup. In goes the skim milk powder and two teaspoons of vanilla. Now, it's easy enough to spoon and spread the whipped cream on the entire surface of the cake, or if you wish, you can pipe it on. I've got a large star tip and whatever you want. You could do little dollops or do a nice little back and forth. I think the first time I tried Tres Leches cake, it had toasted coconut. So to me, that's how I feel it should always be finished. There's so many reasons to love this dessert from the sponge cake, the sweet milky syrup, the whipped cream on top, and the fact that it's easy to transport to your next family gathering. Perhaps with a dessert this size, an extended family gathering. So I do hope you give this recipe a try. I was sold the minute I took my first bite of Tres Leches cake, and I know you're going to love this one.